Hello to all of my beautiful love bugs. My name is Malik Davis, and I would like to thank you guys for stopping in at 40 Pieces of Me. I'm trying to figure out what this is. This is actually a canvas. Um, this is a canvas um, that a client purchased, and she initially, I couldn't remember what it was, um, the store was that she saw a picture that she wanted this particular picture right here nice right that picture it is from z gallery and that picture is i think it was 599 dollars so of course when she said it to me i was like girl get out of here you better go to Marshalls or you better go to Home Goods, go somewhere like that and buy you a picture and recreate it. Well, she challenged me. She did go buy the picture and um, she found one almost similar to it. Uh, of course, a little different, but we're going to make it similar. Uh, she purchased this in Home Goods. So I just wanted to give you a full view of the canvas. And now uh, these are the things that you'll need in order to recreate that Z Gallery canvas art look. Okay, so these are the materials that you're going to need. You're going to need the extra fine silver and gold glitter. You're going to need the Mod Podge. You'll need brushes, of course. I don't have any fancy brushes. Um, you'll need the gold leafing and the silver and you can really stretch this leafing because i've had this silver for a couple of years um not that i craft all the time but i've had this silver for a while first thing that we're actually going to do is we're going to cover up a great deal of this gold in order to try to give it the look that that other um picture had what i will tell say to you you because i know a lot of times we're not going to find these same pictures but this channel is basically about us putting our spin on it so it doesn't have to be this particular picture like i have a canvas when she showed me that i was thinking to myself my gosh they're charging that I could create that at home. So I found one of the pictures that she showed me and I have a small canvas and I'm actually going to go back and recreate that picture. So it's just this particular project is to show you how we can look at some things that we see in the store or online and we can recreate those things ourselves. Um, so I'm going to put that out because I'm dealing with like a little, little small table. Um, it's actually a dinner table. And what I am going to do is I'm first going to start. I want the glitter to be on the bottom. I'm only going to open up about two holes because I don't want to an uh, overwhelming amount of glitter. And I will um, start off by applying the glitter, and then we'll move uh, we'll move forward um, from there. So this part of it should be extremely easy um, because of the fact that we're just going to cover up some of the gold. So it won't clash when I add that gold line uh, through it. So what I'm actually going to do is get out another brush. Because my goal is to work smart, not hard. I'm going to get out another brush so that when I spray the glitter over it, I can actually... Um, And remember, it doesn't make a difference if you don't get all of it covered up because we're going to go back over it with the with the foil leaf in. So you just want to really pat it because we want to give it the gray look 
like um, the other picture was all gray. So we know we'll see some hints. And I just want to make sure that you guys have a really clear view of what I'm actually doing. So what I'm going to do at this point, I am going to turn this now that you saw the materials. That's what we'll do at this point. So I hope everyone had an absolutely beautiful day. Uh, my day was pretty good. I started, I had already started, but today I went and found the toys that I will use for the baby shower anthropology mirror. So I'm really excited about this particular mirror because I've only used flowers so far. And to actually be using objects like that, I'm really, really excited. So we'll see how that's going to turn out. I was having a hard time um, securing a venue um, because we don't have a whole bunch of money and um, we're never ever going to pretend. And that's how my kids and my niece, that's how she is too. So we're not trying to impress anybody. We're trying to do what we do and that's just it. So as you can see, this is the process that I am going to take for, for this. So what I'm going to do, do one more um, row. And then I will complete this and I'll come back, start the recording back up when I get to the part where I'm putting the foil leafing on it. You better not tell us that we can't have what we see in these stores. Anything is yours, it's yours for the taking. He's already said that we can have it. So I'm not saying she couldn't afford this mirror because I meant a for this particular art piece if she wanted but why spend that type of money when you don't have to so i'm um i'm excited that she saw enough in some of the things that i um post on my facebook page to entrust me because this lady she she's really serious about fashion she's really serious about her home decor so um, for her to entrust me to do this, I'm extremely excited. So I'll go ahead and complete this portion and then I will get back with you guys in just a little bit. Because as you can see, it's not a hard process. actually going to lay down and say, oh, I'll start that tomorrow. But you know what? Tomorrow is not promised. So um, got to start taking advantage, taking advantage of my days. When the mind is idle, you have time to think of all kinds of foolishness and think about things that have happened. And you know what? Just don't want to do that. So I said, let me get up from here and get some work done. Every now and then, before I go away uh, to finish this, you need to make sure that you are cleaning your brush. Just You can just take a dry paper towel, but every now and then, just make sure that you're cleaning your brush uh, so it doesn't get real gooky on you. Okay, so I'll come back to you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so it's still wet. That's why it looks sort of blotchy. But what I'm going to do is to make sure that once I start, and you see glitter is everywhere, I'm going to be cleaning. I'm going to be honest. 
but I'm just spraying this so the glitter and this is if you never watched a video and saw me use this this is the acrylic um, acrylic sealer um, so that's basically what this is I bought this from Walmart it may have been like five dollars I really didn't want to spend five dollars but it was worth it so basically um, I just wanted to show you guys that I did spray it because once I pick it up of course glitter is going to come off um, but I just wanted to make sure that I got most of the glitter on there that it sealed Okay, so I did this side over there, and it's not as easy to see because it's on the far side. Um, so what I wanted to um, do is do some of the foil leafing so that you would be able to see, and that's what I meant by I did that side. I completed everything with the glitter, but now I'm going through uh, with the foil leafing. And it's basically just still trying to give it a good look but disguise some of the gold that was over there so we could uh, mimic the uh, Z Gallery picture more. So it's just a simple process. As you can see how I'm um, adding um, the Mod Podge. And I'm actually picking this up because leafing will fly and leafing is expensive um and that's what this whole thing is about trying to do things and be cost effective so i'm just going through and spreading the leafing throughout it and it doesn't have to be on every single spot because remember that was the whole purpose of using an even more cost effective way by using the glitter. So you're just basically padding. And I did a lot of it um, last night and I got a little tired. So I decided to quit. And if you see that some areas are just real faint with it, you can always go back and add more. And after we do this portion too, then what we will do, uh, we'll spray the acrylic on it. And just blotting it because it'll have uh it won't be flat. We want it to have a text, textured look. And I know the one from Z Gallery wasn't like that, but this was basically me putting my spin on it. So if I'm going to use my foil leafing, I want this to be textured. So we will. Repeat this process and I'm going to do, remember every now and then you have to just take a dry paper towel and just the brush that you're doing, um, both of them, the Mod Podge and the, the uh, leafing brush so that your brush doesn't get clogged up and then it'll start not looking so nice. So this yesterday, um, when I got out from work, I went to the Dollar Tree. And then today I went to another Dollar Tree that's close to my job. And uh, if you caught the video this morning, um, just a, a morning hello and just trying to, to make sure that we all stay encouraged. I actually showed some of the cute furniture uh, that I found in the Dollar Tree. So this is going to be something new for me because I will be honest with you. I have never ever looked at, um, I've never ever looked at any type of toys or anything in the Dollar Tree. I mean, um, my G-Baby, he 
when I used to take him in there sometimes, you know, that's what he was going for. He loves the Dollar Tree and, and five and below. Um, but I never paid attention to it. I just, he was just getting what he wanted. But for little girls, like with the little dollhouse furniture, it's amazing what they have in there. So um, I'm excited to start Skylar Sprinkle. Um, that's what I'm calling her um, shower. Um, I'm excited to start her sprinkle decor for the baby shower because I just thought of some really cool stuff. Some of the things that I am going to do, I'm trying to make sure I don't waste any foil leafing because like I said, it will fly all over the room. I have a serious cleanup to do um, when this is done. So, um, I am very, very excited to start this process um, because I just have a bunch of ideas now. Whether they'll turn out neat like what I'm thinking, we don't know until we start. But I'm definitely excited to see how it potentially can go. So, as you can see, this is a really, really simple um, project. And like I said, you don't have to do try to locate this one. But in all honesty, you could paint some gray on a canvas if this is something that you wanted to create. Michaels will run the sale and have canvases buy one, get two free. So you could buy an absolutely giant canvas and um, make music with it. So, like I said, I'm going to go back. Um, I did a downloaded one of the images of the pictures I saw, and I'm going to go back and try to recreate that for me, but it probably won't be soon because I have so many things going on. Like tonight, I really need to do a wine bottle lamp. So, have to see how that's gonna work if I can uh, use my time wisely and not cry that I'm tired and um, stop. Yeah, because I can get lazy. We all can get lazy. So. Today was a day. It was a great day. And then the enemy tried to come and steal it from me and tell me how ugly something was that I created. And you know what? When I addressed it the last time, um, you know, our, our family, because that's what we are as family, some of them give absolutely wonderful advice. So when they said something ugly, I didn't even block them. I told them to have thanks thanks for the feedback and I told them to have an absolutely wonderful day and uh, be blessed because evidently they had something going on in their lives that they, um, they needed to get off their chest and they wanted to make somebody else unhappy because they were unhappy. So what we're going to say is just God bless them. Make them understand that whatever it is that they're going through, it trouble don't last for long. If you get through the night, I promise you the morning will not be like the night. So I hope that that person, and I'm not going to even say that they were a mean-spirited person. They just didn't have anything else to do. But they drove up to the wrong house because um, I could have been nasty with them. But instead, today I just prayed for them because my morning was so good. That's how you got to do sometimes. So, I hope you guys get the full understanding of what we've done here. You know if you have any questions, you can always comment down below. You can even send me an email, however you feel comfortable, because that's what it's about, you feeling comfortable. But anytime you have any questions about anything that 
that we create, you don't understand it or you want to see if I thought about doing it a different way, always feel free um, to reach out and um, talk to me. So I am going to finish this top half. I'm going to get it sprayed, um, let it dry, and then I will resume uh, with the gold portion. I call it the gold heartbeat line down the middle because it reminds me of being on the heart monitor and going, it going back and forth. So that's what I call it, the heartbeat line. So I will finish this up and then I will come back to you guys and we can start the remainder of the process. Okay, so it's all completed in regards to the silver foiling. So what I'm gonna do is to make sure that none of this falls off over her fireplace or anything of that nature. You see how some of it is flying? I'm just going to spread with acrylic. And that is going to hold it, um, everything in place. Almost like when you do the glitter on an actual piece, um, you go back and seal it in so that you don't have glitter everywhere. So I'm just um, going through with a brush and attempting to brush any loose flakes off. Um, so that's what I did to clean it up. I let it dry for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then I'll come back and we're going to do the line down the center of it. So we'll do a line and then we'll add the zigzags. So, so far, so good. Um, it's different. Maybe everyone won't like it, but we don't know if we can do something if we don't try. So I'll get back with you guys. Okay, so as you can see, this is the part I know I always get um, some of my regular family members. They'll tell me, well, I was scared about that. I didn't think that was going to turn out right. And um, a possibility it could not. And then there's a great possibility that it could turn out good. So um, like I said earlier today, I believe in possibilities. So um, that's what we're going to roll with. A little Mod Podge got on that, but we know you can just scrape it up and um, life is going to be good. So now what I am in the process of doing, I will tell you that probably at this point, when you are doing the picture, when you're using the Mod Podge, um, you want to make sure that you get over the actual area that you're doing so that you don't like mess your picture up. Um, so what I'm doing, you see, I'm just going through and dabbing. I only have one hole open on the uh, glitter. I have a finer, not skinny, but a finer um, brush that I'm basically, because what I'm gonna do is when I finish, I'm just going to go outside and pick this up just like this and go outside and shake it like it's never been shook before. I'm not going to hit it too hard because we know the force could break the canvas, uh, but that's basically how that's going to work. So some lines I want to be uh, thinner, but pretty much I want to put a glitter over um, the leafing so that it just looks like the glitter actually has the texture to it.
and I have my phone right here. I'm recording off another device, um, but I'm basically, I have my phone with the picture up just trying to see how close I can get it to this actual uh, picture. So even after you pour it, you may have to go back and uh, do some more. Um, but this is just to let us know where we we are at so far. And I think I may start using this brush. And what I'm going to do after I get this one done, I'm actually going to step away and I am going to um, go shake it. <laughs> yeah, allergies have really kicked in. Thanks, guys, for sticking with me. Okay. So, now it's still looking a little funny. I'll be honest with you. But what I do, what I've did like a thousand times and I really shouldn't have done uh, is each time I, I do a section, I pick it up to take it outside to uh, shake it off just because I need to know. And that's almost like I can't see things with the naked eye. So, each time I do something... I'm picking it up and taking it outside, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and finish because it's getting a little bit late. It's almost 11 o'clock and um, it is what it is, but I was very, very pleased uh, with it and laying down, you really can't, laying down, flat down, you really can't tell, um, but I'm hoping you guys will like it when I finish as well. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish this process show you a part of this process, get it done and um, hang it in a place so I, you guys can see how it actually uh, looks. And then the thing to do is also so that it doesn't take you forever is to do a couple lines before you, you start sprinkling. I've made the process a little bit longer uh, than what I had to, but it's okay. Somebody's paying for it, so you definitely want it to be nice, or even if you're doing it for your house, so it's it's okay. So when it's like this, it, everything just looks like a blob, and I'll be honest with you. So I know I have some of my faithfuls that are not afraid to tell me I was worried about this one. You know, I didn't know how this was going to turn out. Um, but stick with me. I think you'll be rather pleased once you see it. Um, everything all shook up. All of the excess glue shaking off of it. And just to see how it actually turned out. I think you guys will be extremely uh, pleased. So make sure that you're when you are adding the Mod Podge that you're actually um, making sure that the glue is connected because if not, you'll spend more time going back adding extra glue in in order to uh, make sure that everything goes together. After we finish and it dries some, we'll take a brush and pat on the glue. Um, to give it a textured look as well.
<laughs> so yeah, you see I'm in deep thought. I am really working because this is something new. I've never the only time I painted a picture is when I went to uh the silk and paint thing. I'm pretty sure that they have them in uh, they have them in a lot of areas. So that's the only time that I've ever even painted a picture. I mean, of course, since I was in high school, but what? I graduated in 1992. So uh, that tells you how long ago that was. So basically, this is what I'm going to continue doing. Um, get to the finish result i'll go ahead and swing the camera this way so that you guys can sort of see um but like i said you can tell much better uh when i shake it off and i hang it so i'll be back with the finished result okay my love bugs this is the finished result of the z gallery inspired um canvas um, like I stated, the picture that she sent me, and I know it's not perfect like theirs, uh, the picture that she sent me, it was $599, uh, basically for some paint and some scribbles. Um, so this one added a little bit more pizzazz. You can see like the different metallics in it. Um, I'm pleased with the way that it turned out. This is the first time that I ever did anything. I've done like sponges on canvas, but never tried to freestyle anything. So um, basically, I'm happy with the way that it turned out. Let me know what you think I could have did better or let me know if you like it, you don't like it. Uh, of course, I'm going to put a picture to compare them up. Let me tell you, uh, tell me what you think about it. If you guys like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the alert so that you can stay familiar with what is taking place at 40 Pieces of Me. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. Tell somebody about me. Tell a neighbor, tell a friend what we're doing here at 40 Pieces of Me. Once again, my name is Malik Davis. I thank you guys so much uh, for being so supportive and being so kind. And just thanks for wanting to even be part of this family. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night.